So uh, the key message of our presentation was to um, illustrate what we have done so far. So uh, we have done a, par uh, a project with the Hong Kong International Airport, and it's a tri-party project where we were um, collaborating with the Chinese University of Hong Kong, uh, UbiSense, and the Hong Kong International Airport. So what we've done over there is to see how IoT can basically help the airport operation. So we're using different types of IoT technologies, including GPS, uh, Bluetooth, RFID, and even video, to see how we can use that to better um, manage the operation of the Hong Kong International Airport, and how we can see that the aircraft actually can arrive and depart on time. So one of the main challenges of this project is to see how we can better make use of the different types of IoT technologies, combine them, and to make sense of them. Because why would I say this? Um, if we talk about IoT technologies, usually the data is of an unstructured data, nature. So how can we make use of this unstructured nature and turn that into structured nature so we can make better informed decisions? So that's basically uh, what we're trying to do. And also seeing how we can integrate different types of IoT uh, initiatives and see how we can make more and uh, better informed decisions because of the data. Um, actually, um, we talk a lot about it and uh, people have different views and um, also I can say that we don't know what it will bring us, but definitely it will have a better bandwidth. And with that, actually, a lot of our current IoT thinking can be changed because currently we're doing a lot of edge computing and mostly because we don't have the bandwidth to share this kind of data. So if 5G is being rolled out, then I would foresee that a lot of the current applications might change. Because of the huge bandwidth, a lot of data can be pushed back to the server, and we can have even more data to our disposal and provide richer analytics. So we were working with the Hong Kong International Airport, and you can actually see Hong Kong International Airport as more or less the welcome sign of Hong Kong as a city. So in that sense, we can already see that the project that we did tried to help Hong Kong as a smart city. But other than that, um, if you have different sensors, you can basically better, better cater uh, our um, the people that live in Hong Kong and also the visitors. So in that sense, um, there are a lot of uh, still opportunities out there to explore. Um, I think the conference is a very good initiative where we can have like-minded people to share their views. And uh, it's also good to see that in the Hong Kong industry, a lot of people really are using IoT. And more importantly, uh, we're starting to better make use of the data that is generated by IoT. So in that sense, I think Hong Kong has uh, put himself in a very good position where we can provide IoT services to Hong Kong and even to other countries. <laughs>